Right now in six, continuing breaking news coverage, the frantic search for a teen who escaped from the Mahoney County Juvenile Justice Center. This is 17-year-old Jeremy Britton. Police say he took off this morning and they're worried for his safety. At 527, First News reporter Lindsay Watson was along Hubbard Road as police searched the area. She's live at and 6 with an search update. actually led Youngstown, Hubbard and Liberty Police here to Hubbard Road and Holland Avenue at this tire shop behind me. Now, when our crews got on scene, we saw police taking four people out of the woods in handcuffs. But ultimately, about 20 minutes later, they let those four people go and police tell us that they weren't really involved with this at all. So right now I'm going to kind of show you guys the area and tell you exactly what's been going on. So for the last eight or nine hours or so, police have been searching for 17 year old Jeremy Britton after he escaped from the juvenile justice center. Again, that ultimately led them here to this tire shop on Youngstown Hubbard Road. There was a lot of police activity here around four and around five o'clock they left. But within the last hour, we've seen police officers from Youngstown Hubbard and Liberty just kind of combing the area. We also took a trip out to the JJC. Not much going on out there. But again, this search is still going on for the 17 year old and and reporter Cameron O'Brien actually has more on that coming up. But again, it's still a very active search, not an active scene right here now. But again, police are still combing the area. We've seen several officers go up and down the street driving past. So that search here still continues tonight. But for now, reporting live in Youngstown, Lindsay Watson, WKBN 27 First News. As Lindsay mentioned, the search has been going on all day and our news crews was there when police say Britain ditched a car he stole from someone. 27 First News reporter Cameron O'Brien continues our coverage tonight live in the studio. Several different law enforcement agencies, including the United States Marshals, are working to find Jeremy Britton tonight. He was last seen wearing a Navy shirt and Navy shorts, and there is a chance that he might be hurt after jumping the barbed wire fences at the Juvenile Justice Center this morning. 17-year-old Jeremy Britton escaped from the Juvenile Justice Center around 8.30 this morning. He made his break for it while out in the recreation yard. He was supervised appropriately by detention staff. However, he intended to scale the wall, so when there was enough space between him and detention staff, he did in fact scale that initial fence. That fence was 20 feet tall and covered in barbed wire. He jumped another fence and ran off the property. He then stole someone's car and sped off. We did locate him at one situation where he was in a stolen car, which ensued into a pursuit and he wrecked into the woods. He swerved at one of, uh, one of our task force officers' car when we tried to block him in the road. He swerved at him, but then jumped the curb and got away. Britton had been in detention for less than one month on aggravated robbery charges. JJC says all of its students must have recreational time. Nothing like this has happened in the yard before. Not in the rec area. The, the, uh, the fencing in the rec area has indeed, uh, or in fact rather, um, stopped previous attempts. Unfortunately, in this case, it did not. JJC is calling this an extremely rare occurrence. They say they're going to evaluate their safety plans. But right now, their focus is finding Jeremy. Of course, we will review all of our protocols just to see if there's any room for anything to be tightened up. But at this time, everybody is just proceeding with extra caution. Police are asking for people to be on the lookout for Jeremy. In the event that you do spot him, police are advising to not make contact as he is considered dangerous. Instead, immediately call the police. In the studio, Cameron O'Brien, WKBN 27 First News.